Teams who are getting ready down on the grid. The Yas Marina circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. There are two DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both turn 8 and turn 11 and offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Norris, Carlos Sainz and Leclerc. Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Gasly and Sebastian Vettel, Ocon, Sonoda, Lance Stroll and Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin and Valtteri Bottas begins the race from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. A real team effort then, which has paid off in spades. A great victory here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.